Raja Madhuri Afraim. And he appeared before Lord Chaitanya, just as uh, when Krishna, before Krishna appeared, when Lord Brahma went with the Devas and the earth personified to destroy the milk ocean, then Krishna, uh, or Srila Lakshay Vishnu, indicated that Krishna would appear, but before that, his associates would appear to make way for his Leela. So similarly with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, some associates appeared before him in order to prepare for his Leela. And part of his Leela was to taste the confidential moods of Srimati Radhika, and part was also to distribute <coughs> Raja Prem, and particularly Gopi Manjari Prem. So, Madhavendra Puri was sent in advance, and he carried this mood. And then, uh, this mood was uh, bestowed upon his disciple, Ishwara Puri, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in his Leela, accepted Diksha from Ishwara Puri, and thus inherited this same mood. Of course, it is coming from him, because he is the root of it. So, Madhavendra Puri was always absorbed in this state, as Srila Buddha was saying. He was absorbed in the state of feeling himself as a Manjri maid servant of Srimati Radhika. And in this way he was wandering here and there. He had a vow that he would never beg alms for, from anyone. So sometimes he would go for several days without eating. And only if someone approached him and offered him something, then he would accept. Otherwise, he would never request anyone. So one time, he was wandering in Vrindavan, uh, in this state of ecstasy, always remembering Krishna. And also, he avoided, he always stayed alone, because he did not want to uh, come into an association of others and then have to engage in mundane talks. So, he would uh, walk absorbed in chanting and remembering Krishna's Leela, and forgetting whether it was day or whether it was night or where he was going. So, he was wandering in the state in Braj and hadn't eaten for perhaps two or three days. And then, a beautiful young boy came to him and he brought a, a pot of milk, in a, like a clay pot, and the boy was uh, very immediately attracted his mind. So, Madhavendra Puri was astonished, because he is not attracted to anything in this world, always absorbed internally in meditating on Krishna. But when he saw this boy, this boy completely captivated his mind, and he was wondering, why? Why am I so attracted to this boy? So, the boy, he brought this pot of milk and he, he said, My dear Sanyasi, I see that you, are, uh, you, are, you have been fasting, so I brought this pot of milk for you. So he said, How did you know I was fasting? And the boy replied, Well, uh, the, the village women, they have, they have noticed you wandering here and there and not taking anything. And in our village, we don't allow anyone to go hungry. So they have given me this pot of milk and they have requested me to give it to you. So, Madhavendra Puri accepted and he drank the milk. And then, at the next moment, the boy had disappeared. And he was not able to uh, find him anywhere. So, then he went on chanting and uh, chanting through the night. And then, at a certain point, he dozed off. Of course, even in sleeping, he's not actually sleeping like us, but always uh, meditating on Krishna and remembering Krishna's Leela. Hmm? After the boy went, Ketu, Ketu, So, in the dream, or in his dreams, the same boy came to him again. And then he understood that this boy was Krishna. And in the dream, Krishna said that, I have been waiting for you for a long time. Uh, because at that time, the Muslims, they were ruling India. And the Muslims, 
they attacked many of the temples and destroyed many of the deities. So the Pujaris, they would sometimes, if they got warning that the Muslims were coming, then they would uh, take the deity and they would hide it somewhere in order to protect it. So the de- uh, this Pujari, he had hidden the deity of Gopal in a dense forest and then had fled for his life. So this boy Krishna, he came to Madhavendra for his dream and he said that, uh, I've been waiting a long time for you. I'm hidden in the jungle and uh, you please rescue me. So when Madhavendra Puri awoke from the dream, then he was, he was actually condemning himself that, oh, this boy came to me, Krishna actually came to me directly and I could not recognize him. So then he gathered some of the townspeople, or the village people rather, and they took knives and uh, machetes and whatnot, and the forest was very dense, so many weeds and branches. So they cut through the vegetation and then they found they dug and they found the deity of Gopal. And then uh, Madhavendra Puri for several days performed a uh, installation ceremony for Gopal. So on on top of uh, Dinirat Govardhan, on some slab of stone there, they placed the deity and many Brahmins were called there in order to perform the, uh, the Jagya and the Puja. And also, Madhavendra Puri called for foodstuffs to be brought from all the, all the neighboring villages. And so a great amount, a great quantity of foodstuffs were prepared. And then they were also performing Abhishek, bathing the deity, like we did yesterday. Uh, so this was going on for several days. But the deity of Gopal had been, uh, for a very long time, had been buried in the earth. And of course, India is very hot, especially in the summertime. So, Gopal again appeared to Madhavendra Puri in a dream. And he said that in spite of this Abhishek, this bathing going on for several days, still my body is very hot. So, you please go to uh, Jagannath Puri and you get sandalwood paste. There's uh, Malayan uh, Chandan there, the very famous sandalwood. So, this is a very long way from Vrindavan, and at that time there was no planes or trains or uh, anything like that. So, Madhavendra Puri, he went everywhere on foot. So, it was a very long journey, and there were many obstacles to face because the Muslims were ruling at the time, and uh, they, there were so many different uh, like border crossings and whatnot. So, Madhavendra Puri uh, took up this journey and when he got to Raimuna, which is not so far from Puri, there's one deity of Gopinath there. And this deity is a uh, very famous deity and they, they used to offer kir to this deity. And this kir was renowned all over. So, Madhavendra Puri, he was thinking that if we can offer this type of kir to Gopal, it will be very nice. So, when he was thinking like that, it was as if he was desiring to sample the kir in order to uh, be able to prepare it in the same way. But at the same moment, he chastised himself because he considered that, oh, I am desiring to taste uh, the, the kir of Gopinath uh, before it is even offered to him. So this is very sinful. So now I will have to fast. And he gave up his idea to taste the cure. And he just simply went in the, uh, in the village and was chanting. But at night, uh, Gopinath appeared in a dream to the Pujari and said that I have hidden a pot of cure. They offer here to the deity. And he said, you did not notice but I have hidden one pot underneath my cloth. So you should go and find it there. And then after that you should find this sannyasi, this devotee, 
Madhavendra Puri, and you should give it to him. So the Pujari got up, washed himself, put on fresh cloth, and then went on the altar, and indeed, underneath the cloth of Gopinath was a pot of this sweet rice. So thereafter, this Gopinath became known as Kirachora Gopinath. Gopinath who stole, or the thief Gopinath, who stole sweet rice for his devotee, Madhavendra Puri. So, the uh, Pujari went out afterwards and he was calling all over. Uh, and finally he found Madhavendra Puri. And then he gave him this uh, sweet rice and he said that, Gopinath has stolen this for you. You are so fortunate, you are so beloved to the Lord. So, Madhavendra Puri was uh, appreciating the mercy of, of the Lord, the mercy of his dear Lord. Yet at the same time he was thinking that by the morning time this story will be, all, will be spread all over. And then so much praise will come because people will be saying, Oh, what a great devotee this person must be that Gopinath has stolen here for him. So he left that place immediately, not wanting to be praised. And he carried on uh, with his journey. And then finally he arrived in Puri and he got the chandan and also uh, some uh, camphor to mix with it. And it was very heavy. So he got two other persons to help in, in carrying this. Uh, yet still they were having to do this whole journey on foot and carry it on their backs. Something like uh, 80 kilos, I think. So, as he was uh, making his way back to Vrindavan, then Gopal again appeared to him in a dream for the third time. And he said that uh, if you simply go to Ramuna again, to Gopinath, I am not different from Gopinath, or Gopinath is not different from I. So if you go there and you uh, prepare this sandalwood for Gopinath, then I will be completely satisfied. It will be the same as if you uh, apply it on me. So, uh, Maravindra Puri did this, he returned to Ramuna, and of course there he could not escape the fame which was coming to him, being such a great devotee of the Lord. Uh, but the Lord um, also did this to, uh, to show the glory of Maravindra Puri, uh, and also to relieve him from having to return all the way to Braj, with the Chandan, and also to show that he is uh, non different, all his forms are identical to him. So, I'll we'll stop there. You know that Madhavandra Puri was disciple of any sannyasi of Madhavacharya Sampadaya. Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. Nityananda Prabhu was also disciple of the same Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was initiated by Ishwar Purina and he took sannyas from Kesha Bharti in Kantapunaga. In the same way, Madhavendra Puri was originally disciple of Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. And after that, when Lakshmi Pati Tirtha passed away from this world, he wanted to take Sanam's renounce order. But his Buddha was not there. So he took Sanam from anyone of Madhavendra Charge line and his name was Sampuri. I don't Vishnu Puri. Uh, and he became sannyasi. <coughs> Understand? So he was Madhavendra Puri. If anyone can have a argument, a doubt that if he was in Madhvacharya Sampradaya, they are all called Tirtha. 
but how he can he became puri or oh. also in Madhvin, Madhva Charge 9, Samtit and Sampuri also. So he took initiation first from Lakshmi and after he passed away, he took renounce order from Vishnu Puri. He was also a very learned person and very high class. From whom he took initiation Lakshmi Pakti Tirtha. They were in line of Madhvachari and they were devotees of Bal Gopal. Bal Gopal? You know? Yes. And also in the same time, they would use to, uh, to worship. Narayan as that. Lakshmi Narayan. Actually they were worshippers of Lakshmi Narayan, but they used to worship Bhav Guha. They are all established tools are like that. Narayan. But this Puri, in the same line, he was in the line of Gopi's mood. Vishnu Puri. And he has written some books, very good books about this. In the line of Gopi Prem. So he was not Tattvavadi, who? Madhvendra Puri. But he was as a Gopi mood devotee, pure devotee. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took to initiation, one of the disciples of Madhvendra Puripad, that is, that is, he was Ishwar Puripad. In the, in his last career, which is that, he was always waiting, waiting. Oh, Krishna, where is Madhvendra? Where is Madhvendra? Always observing this. Always waiting, crying bitterly so much. Hmm? He Deva, He Daita, He Bhuvanaika Bandho, He Krishna, He Chapala, He Karnaika Sindho, He Nath, He Ramana, He Nayana Abhiram, Ha Ha Padam, Bhavita Padam. Like Srimati Radhika, this two strokes of Radhika, but in the middle way, middle time, there was none who can recite this. Uh, strokes and in the same mood like Radhika. After long time, Madhvendra Puri became like this, like Brajapain and Gopi. He, he, he Deva. He Deva means you are worshipable. You are so beautiful. I cannot forget you. Though you can forget us, and you have gone to Mathura, and you have so many beloved there, we are Gwalini one, only one. Gwalini, you know, Gopi. We are not so much beautiful as Mathura, the wives of Jadavas. We are not so much beautiful, not, we, are, we are not so much, uh, we have no so much quality like them. But we cannot live without you, we will die about you. So, he de, he dait, dait means beloved. You are my beloved. But why you left assignment? Why? If you are calling us to Vrindavan, I cannot go there. We cannot go there. Why? Oh, you have so many beloved there. What is the use of our going in Mathura? There your father, mother and all are there. 
and you are so happy with them, we don't want to disturb you. But you are our guy, Daita. Daita. So much bigger. Hai. Ye dekho, he Daita, he poor Daita. Then, oh, I told wrong. You are Mathurana. Hey Mathurana. Oh, now you are the emperor of Mathura kingdom. You have left Vrindavan. Because you used to go to cow herds without umbrella, without any shoe, nothing. Without ambulance wear. But now you have become Mathurana. So how you, how you will remember us? Very simple gopis. Not qualified at all. We cannot make garland like the omens of Mathura, the Kisoris of Mathura. They can do so. They can start with you well. Mathura. When you will return. When you will return, and sometimes thinking that, oh, Krishna has come and making like this. Understand? Come here, come here. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Lalita, Vishakha, Chitra. No. And that one. Oh, you Krishna? So who, when you come like this, Kalavalukasi, Hadam, हे नाथ हे रमन हे नयनाथ ध्यान हा हा पदान हा हा हे देवर देवर हे हे चकला 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 हे Came there. You know that Ishtar Puri power serving all day with same mood as he was. Always serving in all ways. Giving Mahaprasadam, making him bath, serving him in all respect. But another sister was also disciple, Ram Chandra Puri. Ram Chandra. He came he there and he told to him, then why are you with you jealously? Every dance order sannyasi shouldn't be. He should th think that I am Brahma. I am Nirvishesh Brahma. No love and affection for anyone, even for his body. Nothing. He should be renounced. So why is that be? Then at once Madhvendra Purika told his old disciples, take him and get him out of my assembly, Hajan Kuti. I don't want to see his face again in my life. And he was driven out. And he gave him all modes to Ishwar Purika. You have heard that how he was renounced, that he never went anything to anyone. He knew that Krishna will arrange everything. When Krishna took some milk in a pot and went to Govardhan, that is Madhavya Puri was always observed waiting, rolling down on the earth. And he gave, Oh, my mother has seen you. You have not taken anything for four or five days and you are hungry. But you don't beg to anyone. So my mother has sent me to give this milk to you. You should take it and I am going to... And again I will come and I will take a return to this pot. Martha and the Puri. Martha and the Puri. Was hearing, but giving no importance. But his sweet words, 
and standing more in three threefold attracted. And said, Who is this boy? In my whole life, any man, any boy, any girl, any wife, any woman, any person I had not shot in the whole world. And in my whole life. But how he challenged me? In what a position? In a mood he is standing threefold. How beautiful. Though he is black, how beautiful. And how sweet words. I have never heard any sweet word like this. And he was doing like this. His eyelids were not always. And that boy turned in at once. Oh, he may know me so quickly. Oh, my mother will leave me. So I am just going on to return. And he did in a such a mood that Mother Indrapuri took him in his heart. After that boy went and he was watching, chanting. But now no <coughs> interesting chanting. Mother looking at Who was that boy? Who was that boy? Who was that boy? What did he do? He went. The boy went. And he was watching the way path. It so much time went, but he was always remembering that. Who was he? he was. In the meantime, he a sleepiness, some lens of some lens of sleep came, but not so deep. And he saw in it, very beautiful sand boy. And what he is narrated. From this Madhendra Puri, Ishwar Puri path came. Not only Ishwar Puri path, the roots of Bhakti. <coughs> Madhendra Puri is the <coughs> whole tree. <coughs> and <coughs> not whole tree. And, and three, uh, nine roots were Madhva, um, Paramananda Puri, Ishwar Puri, Brahmananda, uh, and so many. Nine. Adaita Chakvaso, one disciple of same Madhva and Puri. Also, Bhakrishna Pandit. Uh, what the Guru of Gadadhar Pandit, Pundari Pandyamidhi, all went in this line. Not only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not luckily Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Ishwar Purika. All knowingly they went in this line. So this line is genuine. Now some are doubting. They are the uh, messenger of Kali. A spy of Kali. You should not trust him. So we should like to be a devotee like Madhya. Today is also disappearance of appearance day of who was he? Srivas Acharya. He was disciple of Gopal Bhatta. He was in a very astricoted Brahmin family. And for bringing childhood, he was so learned person in Sanskrit and Bengal. Hence. And he was so honest and good character person. He first went to she, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya, Radhadhar Pandit, in Navadvi. And then he started from his village, native place. When he came nearer to Navadvi, he heard that Mahaprabhu has left this world. And, and uh, all his Advaita Acharya, every has 
رنج بھی چھپ سو اب سے یہ اسٹارٹیڈ ٹو گو فار جگن ناتھ جی ابھی اسمیت گدادر پنڈت ابھی میت سرت نامودر رگناتھ داس اینڈ آل ادرس شکھی مائکی مادھو مادھوی دیوی مہاراج پرتاپ رودر سارم بھٹا چا وین ہی گرلی ہی واز گوئنگ بٹ وین ہی واز ان دی وے ہی ہرڈ دیٹ گدادر پربھو ہیز ڈس اپیئرڈ ان دی ان کے شوق میں مہا پر اب سپریشن آف مہا بدادر پر لی اینڈ ہی ایز انٹرڈ ان دی ڈی تی آف گوپی نام ٹوٹا ٹوٹا گوپی نام ہی ہرڈ دیٹ سر نام وہ کرائے جا آپ کی لوگ ہے ہی ہرڈ دیٹ رگنات داس کو شامی ہیز گن ٹو فرم جگن نات پوری تو بندا بن ونلی تو ڈائی ہی بھی گو دیا اینڈ ہی بھی جمپ ان جمنا Or he will go to Govardhan and from there jump. And thus she will die. But he could not. Rupsnathan set him and he began to read him. Radha and bring so much high class of bhajan there. You know. Ruparagnath Pade Rahu Muraj Prathmanaya Parishada Ruparagnath शिवासाचार्य प्रभु आफ्टर दैट थ्री टर्न एंड ई कैन टू वृंदावन एंड यू वॉज सो मच अपसे What to do? Mahaprabhu and all his followers happened. And the way when he came to Prayag, he heard that Rupa and Sanatana both had left this world. Now he was weeping so much loudly. And how he went to Vrindavan and he met with Jeeva Goswami. And Jeeva Goswami kindly kept him with him and began to give his association. and all teaching all shastra to him. In the meantime, Narpan Thakur and Shamanam also went to Vrindavan. And all went to the school of Jeeva Goswami. After that, when they were so much matured in all kinds of shastra, Jeeva Goswami told that, I want to give you all the books of Ruth and Sanatana and of myself and all other books. And he used to take it in a block card and go to Bengal and preach all over Bengal. Because now Bengal has become devotee-less. He used to preach there very strong. So, all the books of Jeeva Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Ujjal Dinmani, Bhakti Goswami, Sindhu and all books and the all books compiled by Jeeva Goswami, of Chaitanya Chaitanya, every, all the books were given in the court. And two, three protectors, guards, were going, and three boys, who, oh, Narutam Thakur Shamananda and Srinivas was more elder than both. And they used to serve him and to obey Srinivas Acharya. In the meantime, when the court was nearer to Bengal, in a very dense forest, some dogs came, and their astrologer told, astrologer, that they have a very what, precious jewels, jewels in the car. And then the king of the dogs, Hamdi, was a very dangerous dogs. He at once followed with his followers. And anyone when they were sleeping, anyhow taking rest, because they are all tired, in the middle, quickly they took away, stolen the car. And when they went there and saw that what is there, oh, only books, books, books. Oh, these are papers, not of any use. 
bogus thing. But they kept the card there. In the meantime, when they awoke and they saw that, oh, where is card? And they were doing like this, for and waiting so much. Shrin was told that he should return to Bengal and I am searching and after taking books I will return, otherwise no. So Shamananda Prabhu and Narottam Sakur went there and they took, gave some letter to Jeev Goswami and others that books have been stolen. But in the meantime, Srinivas was searching here and there like a beggar boy. One day he anyhow he went in the council of king. That is Dirhambi, the commander of commander chief of all the doctors. And he saw that in his council some priest, Brahmin, was uh, reading Srimad Bhagavata and explaining. Oh I it think it seems that this king, the king is very religious and pious and he has some bhakti with Krishna. So I should anyhow mix with this and I should please him and then I will search. When the Harikatha explanation of Bhagavad was no, finished, Srinivas as a boy of only 18 years and he stood up and told to king, O oh king, I want to explain the same slopes which he has explained. I think of he had not explained well. And then he began to explain. King told us, I want to hear your explanations. And all were so lovely. So he began to. What? Madhupakitava Bandho Mastri Shangri Shapatna this. And he explained in such a way the separation mode of Radhika and Gopis and Krishna. Himself he was weeping so bitterly. And all the co counselors began to be. And he explained three, four hours. And quickly time passed. After three, four hours, when he finished one day's rope, and then king himself with his all counselors went in and fell flat on the Lord's feet of Oh, how beautiful it is. We want that you should initiate us. We are all searching of a very pure, bona fide, qualified guru. I see that in the whole world. I cannot have a guru like you. You are bona fide. I have never seen a person like you so qualified. He told that I can, but you will have to give some dakshina to me, otherwise not. Uh, if you are taking harinam or dikshar and initiation and not giving something, donation, not donation but dakshina to Gurudev, uh, that diksha will not be successful. Initiation will, Guru will not never want anything, but we should do, short and If you are Brahmacharya, you cannot keep, then we should give yourself, your body, mind, soul, everything. And if you rehearse them, this should be anything. What is so precious, and which will be useful for my Guru Dev, this should be. So, he told, the king answered, that I know this thing. I will give you anything you like. Then he told, I have eh? lost a full of box and very useful, like more than jewel, jewels available. So if you can give me this donation, then I can. King began to smile. Oh, how did you? that these books are with me and how can help. <laughs> and he again fell flat on the road. Just now I am giving you. 
before initiation and after initiation I build myself, my kingdom, my whole family, everything for it. And then at once he ordered that, that Bula calls with me. Brought here with, and it was full of books. Oh, when books were. Uh, Srinivas Pandit fell flat and doing um, pranam to all the books like he, they are Jiva Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Krishna. That was the explanation of Sanatana Goswami, Vaishnava Goswami, Bhagavatam, Jiva Goswami, Lagu Vaishnava Goswami, and all the books of Srila Rupa Goswami, Ujjwal Nenmini Bhakti Goswami, Sindhu, all the books of Krishna Das Kadiraj Goswami. Sandar, all the Sar Sandar were there, Sar Sambhadi and all the okay. Gopal Chambu, all. And he began so melted. He told that you have given me life. Then he initiated, not only him, his wife, his children, and his uh, all ministers, that's his council, counselor. And king gave his heart, mind, so and everything to him. And you are eternal. And he never disabled in his whole life. We see in these days that you have initiated anyone and he will give you everything. And next day he will go to another guru. Sahajiya guru or any other guru. Brahmavadi guru. Here. And he will give guru they will tell, oh kindly come to me. I will not come. So, now it is a very big problem and that is why we are not having Krishna prayer. No bhakti devotees. So we should try to follow. Srinivas chant. And then he took all the cars and went to Bengal. Uh, they went to Katwa and then Sham, Shamanand and Narottam Thakur were also called, and so many were called, and in our whole Bengal, even to Assam, and everywhere, Manipur, Bhaktiva priest. He was so a scholar. Then he used to explain Srimad Bhagavatam, waiting, waiting, and Krishna, which is all beloved gopis. They used to come and give darshan. And he was a very beautiful <coughs> Kirtaniya. And he has so many rag and ragini eh? melody. And he used to play on Vrindavan as if he would quickly jump. No, no, he knew. Also, Sri Masaraja. They have some. Manohar Sahi. Manohar Sahi. Manohar Sahi. Manohar Sahi. Somebody takes from Raga Ragini. Raga Ragini, you know? That. Oh. Sare Gama Padani Sa. And then. Sani Dhapa Magari. Very beautiful. When Krishna used to sing in Pancham, in five, then Gopi followed and they used to sing in seven. And Krishna had no tune there. <laughs> and then Krishna used to tell, oh, Sadhu, 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 I cannot do like you. So, his one of the daughter was named Hevlata Thakurani. He became preacher, fair, fair, very famous preacher. He, no, he was perhaps married to anyone. And she was a very famous preacher. So many disciples they made. And thus he was famous. He was married, Sri Mahaspani. But even uh, Asyamananda was also married. But Narottam Thakur was not married. But all used to give the same respect to three 
and when they used to meet together, like bosom brother, like what? Bosom friend. Is to try to follow them and to be devoted like them. If you are falling, only one percent even that is enough for us. So you should be strong for our I have given, I have come here only to sprinkle the, their mercies to you. You should not disobey. Never doubt anything in bhakti. Only you want to, you should, you should try to give your akhand prem, akhand love. Full love. Only to Krishna and devotees, not to anyone. Don't. What? To any fraction, then you will be a pure devotee. Go, Praman. Today it will be some play. Not today. We are not ready. Then any different? You have to announce their name. Andrew, Andrew Wainwright, please stand up. Oh, Abhinanda. Abhinanda Das Prabhu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you.
माधव पंडित माधव पंडित एंड नहीं बी लाइक इफ हाउस होल्डर्स एंड इफ नॉट हाउस होल्डर्स ऑफ वेरी गुड टू बी लाइक रघुनाथ दास गोस्वा इफ यू आर नॉट हाउस होल्डर्स यस प्रेम पर I want that all the devotees who have crossed thirty-five and they have they are not uh, with their wives. This would be like Prabhu Das Goswami. Why they are thinking so much here, there? What are their problems? What are their? Problems? I don't. निर्गुण प्रभु इन also in a stadia sam what name prem palla and his wife and children whole family like this they have never told me any problem only problem how we can serve you and krishna this that no any requirement no worldly desire or anything So I want that those who are householder, they should be like them, like Shivas Acharya, er, Shivas Acharya, Shivas Pandey, like Shivas Acharya also, like Shyamananda Prabhu, householders. Why all these things? Only problem should be that how, where I can have Krishna darshan. Well, this is nothing else. And if <coughs> we are like no work, no wife, no children, nothing, then we try to be like Ramnath Dasus. How one of them? How? What are the teachings of uh, Pralad Maharaj? And what are the teachings of? रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी फ्रॉम चैतन्य महाप्रभु आर स्वरूप धाम कैन यू कंपेयर बोलो बोलो कैन यू कंपेयर व्हाट आई टोल व्हाट आई व्हाट इज माय क्वेश्चन कंपेयर A comparative study should be given between Ralad Maharaj's life and Ragnar Das Goswami, side by side. <coughs> What is Ralad Maharaj? This should be pronounced like that evening. Being in house of family person, never wanted anything from Krishna. Never. And always seeing here and there his ishta day, and everything in everything he used to see his ishta day. <coughs> And helping so much to demon boys and all to be a very bona fide devotee. His teachings are like Brahma Gyan. Bhakta also, but nearer to Brahma Gyan. But he was true to the word, Uttam Bhagavat. <coughs> So 
ही वॉज ज्ञानिक भक्त बट नॉट ज्ञान दर सो मच डिफरेंस बिटवीन ज्ञानी एंड ज्ञानी भक्त कैन यू टेल समथिंग हु इज ज्ञानी भक्त एंड हु इज ज्ञानी Why you see so much form? I will have to take a danda, danda, you know, stick, bamboo stick, very long. What <laughs> yani and yani that? Yani is someone who is trying for impersonal aspect of absolute Brahma, and a yani bhakta is a bhakta whose bhakti is mixed with Aishwarya Khan. That means the knowledge that my Ishtadev is God. No question. 